Wilmington, North Carolina. I ain't gonna take the tarps off till I back inside that building. So all I'm gonna do now is take off some, take, I already did all the bungees on this side. I'm gonna do the other side, take all the bungees off, take some of the straps off. When I get inside the bay, I'll take everything else off. Sunday through Thursday, that's why I didn't do it. Yeah, I had a job. Well, they offered me a job pulling, uh, pulling containers, shipping containers. Like Wilmington, Charlotte, Hope Mills. It was like a triangle. But I never took that job. Flatbed game. I remember I made an old video a few years back called Flatbed or No Bed. Day, the day is going to come, though. The day is going to come when I probably stop doing flatbed, but it right now, it ain't going to be right now. Because I like I like doing what I do. I like the schedule that I run Monday through Friday. I got home Saturday this week. I got home Saturday morning about probably about, uh, probably about 10 o'clock. 
because I got held up at my receiver Friday. I sat there for almost four hours because I didn't know why we were sitting there because it was me and another guy, a Hornady driver. How, how ironic. A Hornady driver in front of me. And we sat there for about four hours. And then when we finally got unloaded, the guy was like, the forklift driver asked me how long I've been sitting there and I told him. He was like, man, it don't make no sense. So I was like, what's going on, man? And he was like, um, he had to get, he had to go get a COVID test. So um, they sent him to get the COVID test, but the other forklift driver that they had, he wasn't trained on on how to how to receive trucks in. So they didn't have anybody else. So we had to sit there and wait. Didn't, I didn't even push the issue with the tension. Didn't even push the issue because. It was an open window delivery. It was like seven three open windows, so that's how they get you. When they give you those open windows, instead of an appointment, they'll be like, oh yeah, we can't pay attention. I probably could have pushed the issue, but I ain't worried about it. I ain't feel like wasting the energy. Y'all see this truck coming out right now? That's a, that's a sun belt truck, but it got a Cypress, Cypress uh, tarp on. Y'all probably still don't remember this, but, but the reason I said is how ironic, it was a Hornady driver in front of me when I was getting unloaded, because I talked to him. I was like, how long you been at Hornady? And he was like, he been at Hornady about four years. And then I told him, I was like, yeah, I used to work for Hornady. I was doing a dedicated account out of Wilmington, North Carolina, pulling sheep rock. And he was like, yeah, I used to, he was like, he been, he been there a few times. But, but last time I was here with PNS, I didn't see any Hornady drop trailers out here and he told me that that uh he hadn't been here in a while and i was like well i ain't seen no hornets out there but here we go national gypsum wilmington north carolina man we got one two three four four bobtails sitting right there man four bobtails sitting right there another guy just pulled in front of me I might be here a while. See all these Cypress trailers out here? McElroy, New Line Transport. That yard jockey right there, he about to ask me for my uh, load information. Yeah, y'all remember now? Probably still don't remember. Yeah, this is where I did ded dedicated for Hornady right here. On, buddy oh that's a sin sin freight trailer hey shout out my dog uh justin oh, well he just told me to wait oh man i'm gonna have to blind side back in that one i don't know if he i don't know what he was saying he, he want me to put it right there or what he might, he might put it in there. If not, I'm gonna have to blind side back up in there. It's tight too. I don't know what he's talking about. Woo! The best way to back is not to back. So about to find out as soon as he get on out of the way. That CN Freak uh, truck, he backing up right now. Yep, look like I might be sitting here a while. All them National Gypsum bobtails sitting out there. I think it was three National Gypsums and one microphone. That's what it looked like. Either way, that's four out there and one right here. So that's five in front of me. Hurry up and wait. I already made my mind up when I was uh when I first got the load. I was like, man, if I gotta sit here and wait all day, I'm going I'm going home tonight. I already made my mind up. Cause this load is going to Chesapeake, Virginia. That's about about 200 miles from the house. Yeah, I go home. Come on, Mr. Sand Freight, get that thing out of the way. He in there now, he just got straightened it up. Come 
Come on, buddy. Now, yard dog, yard dog keeps stopping them. That's why, that was the, what the hold up is. <laughs> yard dog keeps stopping the dude. You know, y'all know how the yard yard jockeys are. Some people call them yard jockeys. Some people call them yard dogs. We call them yard dogs up here in North Carolina. Be hauling, be hauling ass through the parking lot, driving 25 miles an hour. All right, Mister Sin, that's it right there. That should be your last pull up. Should be the last pull up right there. Got that thing on in there. If y'all wondering why I gotta do a blind side, it's because it's a parking lot to my left with uh, regular cars in it. So I can't get up in there. I can't pull straight up. I'm about to make it. I'm about to make it easy. See that? See that yard jockey up there, straight ahead? He about to pull one out. I'm gonna put mine right there. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna make it smart. I'm about to put it right over here. Man, that's even tighter. Oh, Chess Chesapeake, Virginia. Need a low number? Hey, is the six one number? Yeah. The last last four? One one three four. Big hole. I ain't about to waste my time. Now this yard jockey telling me something different. I got a hole right there. Man, I don't know what they be talking about, boy. I'm about to, I'm about to tell his ass. One guy telling me over there, this guy telling me over here. I would have rather put it over there. But we're gonna put it over here in the original hole. Thank 
we back, baby. cars in front of me. That's what I was talking about. Hey, Y'all can't see my face, but I was definitely keeping an eye on my right side. I'll tell you what, you don't want to hit one of them cars backing up. First thing your job going to tell you, did you get out and look? That's the first thing they're going to ask you. Did you get out and look? Guess what? Y'all know I didn't get out and look. That's because, uh, you know, I'm pretty experienced in backing up, so I ain't saying I'm the best, but I just I was just real cautious with it. I kept an eye on my right side. Y'all heard that buzzer? Cause I dump my air. I dump my airbags. Cause I know, I know the yard jock is gonna have that trailer tall as hell. So I went ahead and dumped my air. I ain't got time to be fighting with that trailer trying to trying to jack it up. dedicated out of here. I used to go to Roses right down the street. Burn a little time. But I ain't going today. I'm going to just sit here and chill out. See you. Builder's first source. Sheet rock, baby. Look what I got. TMC. My lucky TMC strap. With that one strap. That one strap is rated for 10,000 pounds. These are rated for 54. That one's rated for 10,000. TMC strap hold anything.
That's all, folks. Done for the day. Till next time. Flatbed game.